Join us now for Health for Life, brought to you by Hamilton Healthcare System. Today we're talking with Dr. Kanthala of Hamilton Healthcare System. Dr. Kanthala is a board-certified internal medicine and geriatric medicine physician at Hamilton Healthcare System. Dr. Kanthala serves as medical director for Hamilton Home Health as well as medical director for Hamilton Long-Term Healthcare Facilities, which include Regency Park, Ridgewood Manor, and Quinton Health and Rehabilitation Center. Dr. Kanthala completed his residency training in internal medicine at the Unity Hospital Rochester Regional Health in Rochester, New York, following with his fellowship in geriatric medicine at VAMC Miami Jackson Memorial Hospital, University of Miami in Florida. Dr. Kanthala, today we're going to talk about geriatric care and healthy aging. Dr. Kanthala, what are the benefits of geriatric care? Benefits of geriatric care is it's an extension of uh, a preventive primary care medicine. It's a multi-domain assessment that we do under geriatric care. We just don't review a medical condition, but we assess how the mental health domain, the functional health domain, and the spiritual and social health domain fall in place with your personal health. Now that our listeners know about geriatric care, who do you recommend to see a geriatrician? Well, Bobby, any older adult over age of 65 is considered geriatric age. Since my team offers a collaborative care with your own primary caregivers, you could choose seeing me as a consultant. The specific group of older adults who must receive geriatric care are those with more than four medical problems and or or they have major mental illness such as depression, anxiety, or some cognitive uh, or memory decline, if I must say. And especially those with frequent falls and uh, fractures, history of fractures, and uh, inability to control their uh, bladder control, we call it as incontinence. So these are the patients who must uh, have a comprehensive geriatric care. Can you explain why it is essential for seniors to have regular doctor's visits? Good question. <laughs> Aging is by far an irreversible physiological process. So we need to make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight enough to carry forward. Uh, over 65, the body is at an exponential or catabolic breakdown phase compared to the building phase that we when, you, when we have when you're young. So we're not growing anymore after that age. And uh, your healthcare professional will evaluate and make sure all the guideline-directed preventive care measures are taken and followed to avoid premature aging and disease. Well, can you explain why it is so important for seniors to maintain a healthy diet? Well, our body is in a constant uh, oxidative stress or breakdown stress, constantly breaks down proteins, your fats, your carbohydrates, which essentially are necessary to maintain a healthy cell, a healthy organ, and uh, get good energy. So a balanced, healthy diet is essential to maintain what we call internal environment or homeostasis. I understand potentially what could happen if a senior does not maintain that healthy diet. So as I said, it's a irreversible physiological process of aging and uh, the muscle mass is replaced by fat. The skin becomes soggy, you get wrinkles, nobody wants that. And your protein, you're losing your protein, your muscles are weak and that leads to more joint pains and aches. So it's essential to eat healthy, good oxidant, antioxidants, vegetables, nuts, a balanced diet and exercise daily, very essential in order to replenish the body stores that you're losing on a daily basis. Mm, that's very good, very good answer. Uh, what tips do you recommend for caregivers to receive when it comes to nutritional meal planning for those that they are caring for? So read the labels, focus on the sodium content, the potassium, the total fats, the total carbs and the protein in the meals that you receive. Avoid added sugars, food with saturated fat, and high sodium. Uh, please eat good protein, such as seafood, dairy, fortified soy products, uh, with beans, peas, or lentils. Fortified foods are good choices, uh, as far as you can think of, and uh, please stay hydrated. Dr. Kanthala, thank you so much for joining us today. If you could leave our listeners with a piece of advice, what would that be? Drink water, eat vegetables, nuts, and fruits daily. Mm -hmm. Don't buy over-the-counter supplements if you're eating a 
healthy diet unless advised by doctors and move your body as you can when you can else you will lose it if you don't use it so body movement is very important absolutely well thank you so much for joining us today for more information about hamilton family medicine clinic or to schedule an appointment with dr Kanthala. Call 706-686-8015 or visit hamiltonhealth.com slash family. This program in no way seeks to diagnose or treat illness or to replace professional medical care. Please see your health care provider if you have a health problem. Thank you for listening to Health for Life, a presentation of Hamilton Healthcare System. 